you know, people talk about game innovation, and a lot of time we talk about how can we innovate a technology and to create new kind of games. Uh, other times we say a new art style or a mechanics, a new game design. Um, but that game company likes to look at games and innovate it based on how the game makes you feel, the, the emotions. Um, we see video games as an uh, interactive uh, form of entertainment. Entertainment happens in all forms and through all mediums. Uh, when we look at film, which is a very established uh, entertainment industry, and if you look at the genres of film, they are all divided by the emotions. Uh, but when you look at games, what kind of feeling do they communicate? Like, they give you a sense of accomplishment. You're getting better at it, and you're accomplishing more and more. And this feeling of accomplishment is not provided by cinema or music. You can't just watch a film and feel like you've done a lot of stuff, right? Uh, so I think that's why initially a game is very focused on these emotions. Because at that game company, we always start with emotion, and we, we, we work everything around it. We, we then figure out what is the gameplay to support that emotion. Uh, <clears throat> so at the time, I look around trying to do market research. Believe it or not, I'm doing marketing research, right? figuring out what is the common emotion that's saturating the market and trying to figure out what is the, the emotion that's been missing. So once we figure out some mechanics that actually brings people together, um, that's not enough. Because if it's about emotion, it's about catharsis. Catharsis is a sudden emotion, emotional breakdown or climax that constitutes any overwhelming change in emotion. That could be any kind of emotion, like happiness, sadness, fear, all kinds of things. But it's so strong that it results that afterwards, the person who experienced this have a feeling of renewal, restoration, and revitalization. And to reach catharsis, you know, in Hollywood, people like to do the three-act structures. Well, they, they build up the first act, they have a twist in the second act, and so in the third act, there's a huge rise. Right? This, this huge change of emotional intensity creates catharsis. Um, and it's widely embraced by Hollywood. Um, essentially, the hero's journey or the monomyth is a structure about transformation, a transformation in our lives. It could be big things and small things. Right? And so we were thinking, well, is it possible to use this structure to help us to evoke the feeling of awe? Um, and I put it down on, on a table uh, at the top row. It's the three-act structure of Hollywood, and the middle one is the monomyth. And the bottom one, which I think is very interesting, uh, is the actual stages of life a human goes through. Because I believe if there's any big transformation, the biggest one is the transformation from life to death. Um, and then I applied emotional intensity numbers, kind of creating the arc. Um, and you can see, basically, everything just matches perfectly. I'm like. I didn't realize how perfect three-act and monomyth and life is, and I have to make this game.